time to test yourself. As you can see, I've got the course table at the top, and I've got my SQL right there. I have taken the liberty, because I'm a nice guy, of filling out half of the report. Your mission, if you decide to accept it, is to put in what would happen under the column credit alias. You got 30 seconds. Good luck. How did you do? Here are your answers down below. Let's take a look at just a couple of them. Let's look at the first row and we say it's advanced SQL and we happen to know that that is three credits. Here's the way it's going to work inside the case statement. We're using a value case of credits. So is it equal to one? No. It drops to the next line. Is it equal to two? No. It drops to the next line. Is it equal to three? Yes, it is. Print it and leave. That's the part I need you to understand right now. Then it goes and gets the next row and says, okay, it's database administration and that's going to be four credits. So here's where you got a chance to learn something. You can see here it says, is it one? No. Two? No. Is it three? No. So we have an else statement here. That's why people put else statements in. If it falls all the way through, it's going to put in credits not found. If I didn't have that else statement, it would return a null value. Now let's go to the very last line where it's two credits. And we say V2R3 SQL features. It happens to be two credits. It says, is it one? No. Is it two? Yes, leave. Sometimes you're going to be coding out there and you're going to have a nice long case statement or case statements within case statements. And when it gets to a certain point here, they go, what do you know about that? And they go, well, logically, I put the logic in here. So it couldn't be this, it couldn't be this, and it couldn't be this. And they go, well, how do you know that? And they go, because it would have left. So these case statements will allow you to put in brilliant logic so that you know when it hits a certain point that they had to be a customer, they had to have bought them twice, or whatever logic you want to put in there. I've got another opportunity for you to do it again, and I've got a couple of tricks and fancy dancy tear tom techniques for you that are going to really help you in the long run. So I'm going to give you another 30 seconds because I'm a nice guy and I want you to fill this out and make me proud. I want tears welling up in my eyes. Good luck. Nice work. As you can see down here in the answer set, it was pretty much the same as the last one because this query is very similar to the last one, but this was a searched case. It wasn't a valued case. We didn't commit to credits. We said case when credits less than or equal to one, when credits equal to, when credits less than four. And we also had when CCC, which was the actual alias name we used again, is like Terra, then we'd do something else. But let's look at the first two answers just to really make sure we know what's going on. And I want you to see a little trick I got for you here. As you can see, advanced SQL was three credits. So it said, hey, listen, is this credits less than or equal to one? No. Is it equal to two? No. Is it less than four? Yes. So right away, it left. Now, it came to the second one, which was database administration. And that was four credits. So they said, is it one? No. Two? No. Three? They go, no. Is it like Terra? No. So it fell through to our else statement. 
Notice the else statement says single quote, don't know single quote, with two single quotes forming the apostrophe. So it's actually single quote, D-O-N, single quote, single quote, T, space no, single quote. And that's how you get an apostrophe. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Begin your Teradata journey the right way with our Teradata Basics book. Visit coughingdw.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.